All right, hey, uh, what's going on, folks? Earthmaster here checking in on this Friday night, February 28th, 2020. Would be the last day in the month, but it is a leap year, leap day year, I should say. So we got one more day tomorrow, February 29th, in our calendar. Um, taking a look at the earthquake 3D globe right now shows the latest earthquake on the map, a 5.3 magnitude quake out here just south of Fiji right around the Fiji Islands region, relatively shallow for that area, striking at about 10 kilometers below the surface. So that's uh, pretty shallow in that region. That uh, area definitely known for some large, deep quakes, uh, but today, pretty shallow. Uh, not, s not the same up here on the northern part or northwestern part of the Pacific Plate, uh, right around, uh, well, just south of Japan there on that crest. Uh, seen some deeper earthquake activity. Looks like a couple fours in there uh, and also some more deep movement up there towards uh, well, north of Japan. Now not super deep, but it is uh, some interesting movement up there as uh, as that's taken place in the in an interesting area there subduction zone area up there, but uh, nothing major to report in that region. Uh, back over here towards uh, this part of the world, they did have a 5.0 over here in, uh, let's see here, I believe this is the China region, Ak Akusu, China. Um, roughly 102 kilometers northeast of that region that I just mentioned there. At a depth of 10 kilometers, no reports being felt there. Of course, not 100% sure on the population density uh, of that region out there. Uh, kind of close to the mountainous areas of China. Um, that 5.0 is right there in that crest of mountains. A little bit of activity to the southwest as well, but uh, nothing big at all really to report here, folks, on the Earthquake 3D globe. Um, <clears throat> anything interesting um, to throw out you? Throw out at you? Not a lot. I mean, uh, well, I guess they did have almost a five, almost a six-pointer down there in Fiji. You can see that 5.8 popping off there in the blue flag now. That's uh, looks like it was a little bit earlier quake compared to the 5.3 right now, but uh, still, that's a relatively moderate sized quake, but in a, like I said, pretty shallow, pretty shallow uh, earthquake there in that region. But uh, yeah, nothing really, folks, have even really report out here. 2.7 up there in the, uh, looks like Yellowstone, Montana region, or pretty close to that region. Taking a look at the uh, Yellowstone map right here. Here is the latest earthquake uh, overview of Yellowstone National Park, the seismograph stations that is. And you can see that 2.8 2.8 showing up there in the northwest corner of the park. Uh, of course, down here towards the southeast here, not didn't really pick it up too well, but uh, Masson River, Maple Creek, all up near uh, Heb Hebgen Lake, all showing that 2.8. Uh, and really no Looks like there was a couple smaller aftershocks, or uh, yeah, it looks like a couple small aftershocks following that 2.8, but no sign of a swarming. Definitely no magma movement, no magma intrusion, nothing that would indicate any type of explosive eruption from Yellowstone National Park. Uh, she's just doing her beautiful thing that she does up there all year round, right? Uh, let's see here, where'd the, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Ah. Uh, Go ahead and refresh that here. Thought I did, but I guess I didn't. I hope I'm not catching the coronavirus. <clears throat> Some big time fear mongering out there, folks, on the media. Big time fear mongering, that's for sure. Definitely hitting the stock market like crazy. But uh, yeah, I don't. I haven't traveled anywhere, Japan, otherwise, or any major people area. Here's a one day, all magnitudes here. A um, little bit of earthquake activity out here in Southern California, like always. Ridgecrest area, we're not even really gonna get into that because that's kinda, that's just their normal thing that they've been seeing down there. Although just to the north east of the uh, Mammoth Lakes region here, some earthquake activity in Nevada and right along the state line, some small clusters of microquakes out there. Um, well, I guess that 2.1 there is uh, not really a microquake, but it's south-southeast of Hawthorne, Nevada. 
You got Mono Lake over here to the west. Mammoth Lakes down here to the southwest. And uh, they're still seeing a little bit of earthquake activity out there as well. But uh, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary, folks. No swarming, no major um, areas of, of interest right now. Although this red little dot down here, as soon as I say that, it just happens to pop up. This right here is an area that we would need to watch uh, down here at the southern section of the San Andreas Fault. Now that's the area right there where it kind of ends, right? The plate boundary, they say it ends. Uh, but it really doesn't. It continues underneath the Salton Sea region in a different level of ground known as the Brawley Fault System here. Seismic zone, I should say. You can see that up there on that red line that I just clicked there. That extends further down to the south where it connects over here to the uh, Imperial Fault. That's that red fault line right there, a little bit further south. Either way, it's still somewhat connected, folks, uh, just under different names, under different geographical depths. And uh, anyway, getting back to this little 1.3 here near the Salton Sea, that's an area that we tend to watch for swarming. And that red dot, well, blue dot now, is in the area where we've seen some swarming uh, quite a few years ago. It was pretty intense swarming. And I think they even issued some type of uh, strange earthquake warning uh, for Southern California uh, when that happened. I can't remember the exact details on it, but uh, there was definitely some uh, large swarming going on. And the scientists and whatnot, geologists thought that uh, it was an obvious sign of impending pressure on the southern portion of the San Andreas Fault. And therefore they issued uh, kind of a rare earthquake warning alert or... Uh, watch i guess you could say i can't remember i'll have to look it up and see if i can find it but uh yeah so not saying there is going to be any swarming but that's just an area we have to watch and that uh that earthquake just happened to pop up there as i was saying that there's really no areas to watch at all as far as interesting activity but uh this uh this happened and that's that's the area right now kind of keep an eye on so anyway folks i hope everyone has a good night out there i am going to revert this uh, stream back to um, earthquake data only right now and that means I'm going to pull down the Yellowstone's uh, webcam and the reason why I'm doing that is because a couple things um, going on in next week uh, this weekend next week that require me to stream pretty much just data out here um, and I will get to that a little bit later on maybe tomorrow or on Sunday but uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that scrolling effect and what we'll do is we'll keep the main stations up here which is uh, let's get rid of the scrolling do 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 filters scrolling where is the scroll there it is okay set that back down to a zero and then, uh, let's see how we're doing here. Okay, so once again, uh, this shows five stations here. Top one's going to be Mammoth Lakes. Um, second one down is going to be Yellowstone National Park. Third seismograph is going to be Port Moresby, Moresby uh, New Guinea. Fourth one is going to be Mendocino, California, in the northwest corner of the park. Kind of area to watch for Cascadia subduction zone movement, plus uh, that triple point junction of Mendocino Point or Mendocino Fault system, uh, Pacific Plate, and the North American Plate up there, all play a, a big part in making some big earthquakes up there. So I kind of keep an eye on that region, uh, and also China Lake down there on the bottom, where that little spike of an earthquake is. That's the Ridgecrest area in Southern California, where they've been, like I say, having some lots of aftershock activity uh, ever since july 4th and july 5th of last year so anyway um i'll explain all this a little bit later like i said tomorrow possibly on sunday the reason for this but <clears throat> right now we'll go ahead and keep it up uh yellowstone will be back but it just won't be i won't be having it up this coming week here so in the meantime we're gonna jump off here and hope everyone has a very safe friday night please be safe out there folks i don't know where you guys live but here where i live in this little small town there's a lot of idiots out let me let me tell you i i'm being very lightly i'm lightly calling them idiots when when i say that word 
but uh, there's definitely a lot of them out, folks. A lot of people drinking, driving, probably smoking weed now. Now that weed's legal out here in California, you know, to each his own. But please just don't get behind the wheel and uh, start lighting it up. It's just not safe. Have a good night out there, everyone. We'll chat you guys very soon. Peace.